Alright, so we're going to be having a look at the Killzone 3 beta for the PS3, which was open to 10,000 PSN Plus uh, members, I believe. Uh, my brother got it off one of his friends. I'll put a link to his channel uh, so you can go over and subscribe. But uh, yeah, just a side note, I'm a bit of a noob. This is like my first time playing it. I'm going to Guerrilla Warfare. Uh, you notice it takes quite a while to join a game simply because there's not very many people on the... Um, servers because there was only 10,000 people that got it so I believe this is due out in January no February of next year yeah uh, so the loading times are pretty pretty bad right now uh, simply like I was saying before because there's not very many people that have the beta so I spawn here uh, the first thing you notice is I mean the graphics are insane which you would expect from their flagship game but, um, yeah, you know, I've only noticed, and this is a beta, which is pretty impressive, but I've only noticed, uh, a few problems with it, which you may, sorry, somebody's calling me on Skype, so, um, you know, which you may be able to tell right now, the moving and, like, the aiming systems are really, yeah, they're not, not good, and, I mean, okay, here's the problem. When you first get it, it's at 50% sensitivity, uh, which is like really, really slow. The aiming is really slow. Well, not so much slow, but it's really weird. You got to click the right or left joystick. And this guy's shooting at me. Um, one thing I will note though is that um, if you if you're a camper, if your style's camping, and I'm not trying to be derogatory or anything, but uh, if it's camping or sniping, because sniping's obviously you have to camp, otherwise you get killed because you've got a sniper. Uh, but if if you want to sit at the top of the stairs and camp, or you know, like do some dog moves or something like that, you you do pretty good at this game because it's one of those games where you need a shitload of hit markers, and you probably saw my last couple of kills, how many hit markers I got. But you know, you need a probably I don't know with a shotgun, probably like I don't know three hit markers or something, four or five hit markers. I got two here. Uh, and then his buddy comes in and kills me. So you can see, that was two hit markers with a shotgun, which would, you know, in all reality, kill anybody. But, uh, yeah, if you're a camper with a sniper or a shotgun, you'll definitely do good, because, you know, people like me will be rushing. That's, uh, that's my style, really. I hate camping. Um, I never really got why people liked it, to be honest, because it's so boring. You just sit there. Uh, it, you know, like, in Call of Duty, on search and, and everything, you know, you would want to camp, but I just, I can't stand camping. It's just way too boring so yeah I come up here and I I was like a complete noob and I just, it exploded and I was like wow yeah that was the epitome of noob but uh, yeah so what defines your classes or your guns is your actual occupation a mechanic I think I'm a mechanic now I've only been playing for a couple hours so excuse my noobishness but uh, yeah I think the mechanic has the shotgun which I'm playing as right now um, and then there's the SMG LMG so you got the submachine gun light machine gun uh, which are all pretty damn cool guns this guy kills me he's camping in a corner so that's a prime example they do do pretty good on this game to be honest uh, this this game has a lot of potential to be to be 100% uh, it's, it's it's like obviously Killzone is PS3's flagship game they've really copied Call of Duty um, and you know people would think well, that's a bad thing Well, for ps3 players. It's probably a good thing because it's their exclusive Call of Duty uh, You might notice later on in this match. You'll see assist and um, Before I got first blood. It's not in this match, but it was in a match before uh, I got first blood So it's pretty blatant that they copied a bit out of Call of Duty But they also improved a lot of things out of Call of Duty and that's why they're releasing the online beta now so they can iron out the bugs, uh, and they're, they're trying to create their own exclusive Call of Duty. Uh, this, for me, is no is really no Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2. But I guess for some people, if they have quick scoping in here, and I have not checked, so anybody wondering about that might be able to say so in the comments. I try and shoot this guy and I fail, uh, but they might have quick scoping on it. Uh, the reason I was playing this was because. Um, uh, Modern Warfare 2 I really loved and you might have seen my blog post uh, about Black Ops I wasn't too 
yeah, I, I didn't really like like uh, Black Ops when it came out. I'm starting to get used to it now. I'm starting to really quite like it. Definitely no Modern Warfare 2, but uh, I'm playing this to see if it will fill the gap that Modern Warfare 2 uh, had because I left gaming for like two years and I, I wasn't gaming at all. Uh, and I came back to it and um, yeah, which is why I'm pretty new. But uh, yeah, the reason I didn't like Black Ops was the, the maths were, were way too big. You were running half the match to get to somebody. If you're playing a simple game like Search or whatever, I shot one of my own teammates from that noob. But, um, yeah, if, if you're playing like a game of Team Deathmatch or Search or whatever, you know, you're running for half the game. So that's why I disliked it. Nuketown's a great map, though. I think a lot of people like that. But, uh, yeah. But the, the thing with Black Ops is, one good thing is, if you're a legit player and you're really good, I mean, legit players are going to love it. I mean, they've probably all got it, but... Uh, it's very legit. Treyarch patches it so that there's no hacks or anything on uh, Black Ops, which is uh, one of the main complaints that Modern Warfare 2 got. A lot of people complained about the hacks and that towards the end of Modern Warfare 2. And then also, towards the beginning, they had those um, Prestige 9 hacks. You see this fluke kill. I got an explosive, which was like, I think I killed like two people. That was the flu kill of the game that I was talking about before. And I threw it without even knowing. The rest of the game's pretty much not very good. But uh, yeah, sorry if this is boring, I'm just trying to show it real. I just killed myself with my own grenade. Uh, so yeah. The the only things that could really improve on this game, I mean, I really like it. But the, their aiming's pretty screwed up and their turning's pretty screwed up. And uh, their online's pretty laggy. This is awesome though, this is towards the end. If You can see the other team owning you if you've like won the game, which is pretty damn cool. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, go and subscribe to um, my brother's friend who gave me this uh, beta. Uh, so yeah, I'll put a link to his channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more.